Hello, and welcome to the first Synergist EDS series regarding your Autodesk account. Today's session will focus on an in-depth look or introduction to your Autodesk account. The Autodesk account interface has been around for numerous years and perhaps you're familiar with it. Whether you are a seasoned Autodesk account user or new to it, an excellent starting point is going through the basics and functions of your Autodesk account. So let's get started. To access your Autodesk account, you will use an internet browser to start off. We recommend Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, and for this video, Firefox will be used. Now there's a couple ways of getting into your Autodesk account. Their first way is going to the Autodesk website, which is www.autodesk.com, and selecting the Sign In option. The other method is to directly access the Autodesk account website using this web address. And at this point, it is assumed you already have an Autodesk account, but if you don't, you have the ability to create one. When we first access our Autodesk account, you will see your profile. The profile information is optional and not needed for your Autodesk account to work. The next, what we're going to talk about is the security settings of your Autodesk account. Here you can change your username, your email address, your password, and a couple of other settings. One of the most important ones here is this two-step verification process. Now you can see in my Autodesk account, it's not enabled. This two-step verification process is basically adding another layer of security to your login process. Basically, when it's enabled, it's going to set a security code to your mobile device or the device that you select to ensure that you are the one accessing your Autodesk account. Now, some of you may have enabled that function when Autodesk introduced this probably about a year or so ago. If you don't want that layer of security anymore on your login for your Autodesk account, you can come to your security settings of your Autodesk account and disable it. Now, depending on how you're going to use your Autodesk account, you may want to go into linking your social media accounts or under the preferences, setting your language and how you want to communicate or receive information from Autodesk. Outside of your profile and related settings, you will now select Manage Products and Downloads in the upper right-hand corner. Now, depending if you are just an end user or have the role of contract manager, primary administrator, secondary administrator, or software coordinator for your Autodesk account, this section on the left-hand side may not appear as shown in this video. However, for this video, we are going to focus on products and service since it is the same for all Autodesk accounts. When you select the All Products and Service link, you will gain access to all the products and services that you're entitled to. These products and services will allow you to download and install your Autodesk product and access services such as your cloud services or cloud storages that you have. In addition, when you expand your Autodesk product, this is where you're going to find out what serial number to use or what the activation method you will be used to activate your product. We will talk about this later. When you select to access your products and services, and there's very limited information such as cloud storage and et cetera. Here's an example of an Autodesk account with limited information. Does your AutoCAD account look like this? You may have to log out and clear your browser cache and history. If that doesn't resolve the issue, further investigation into your Autodesk account is needed. And finally, what you're seeing under My Products and Services may not be the same in what you are viewing when you access your Autodesk account. Here's some important information regarding your Autodesk account when dealing with Autodesk products that are associated to a network or multi-user license type. Keep in mind that this can only be accessed through those roles as designated here. At the top of our Products and Services, we can filter out by the type of license we have for our products, the versions that we're entitled to, perhaps you want to filter out based on the platform you're installing, 
and the language. From the given product information, we can click on it to expand it. Here we can see all the versions that we're entitled to and how the activation will occur, whether it's serial number, product key, or you may not be issued a serial number and it just says sign in. When dealing with your collections or AutoCAD with tool sets, in order to access those given products, you will have to expand or select the View Item button as shown in this image. Once you expand it, you will select the View All Included Item link as shown in the image to access all the products and services of the collection or tool set. As you can see, once you expand and select the collection or tool set, the list of related products and services appear. Products shown with the Access Now button are cloud services and benefits. In most cases, the user will just access those benefits through the required interface. We can also access to download this product. So we can click on here and say View Download. And depending on your role in your Autodesk account or the type of license that you have, there may be this button present. It's the additional actions. So if we click on that, in this case here, I can go to the activation, I can go manage user, and I can look at the contract, depending, again, on your Autodesk role and the type of license that you have. Although downloading, installing, and applying updates or getting add-ons is not covered in this video, I wanted to point out a couple things before we move on. When we select to view downloads, we can also access its activation of that product and any updates and add-ons that may be available for it. Speaking of downloads, we also recommend that you use the browser download method for your installation. For example, if I wanted to install 3D Max, you can see that it's set to install now. We recommend that you change that to the browser download method so that you get the software down to your machine and then you can install that. To do that, you're going to click on this View All section and change it to browser download and as you can see the method changes. One final thing about downloading. As I stated, we recommend that you use the browser download method. And you can set that as the default option by going to the gear in the upper right hand corner, clicking on it, selecting the browser download and hitting the save button. There you have it, an introduction into your Autodesk account so you can access your products and services that you're entitled to, and having the ability to download your software. Stay tuned for additional sessions on Autodesk account. Have a great day.